You physicists better stop fondling your bosons and listen up because with this brass cannonball and this 59 cent a pound thought collider, I'm going to show you that a great bulk of science is a house of cards from relativity to quantum mechanics to Maxwell's equations. Hi, my name is Robert Distinti. I'm an electrical engineer with 30 years experience. My background is in electromagnetic physics and I've got a master's degree. Most people are under the false impression that if you have a theory that gets your sample points, the blue dots are sample points, and the line is a theory that fits the sample points, and your theory must be correct. Well, the problem with that is you can have another theory that might fit the same observations. And you might say, well, okay, we'll just take more sample points to prove that that's the theory, but uh, this is where Mother Nature throws us a curveball because there can still be infinite number of theories that fit the same observations. So one of the problems that we have with Mother Nature is that correct answers can never ever prove a theory right. So getting so correct answers prove nothing. You can read this from Einstein, read this from Karl Popper. I gotta go on, I gotta make this video quick. Okay, but it only takes one wrong answer to disprove either one of these theories. So wrong answers are the most powerful thing we've got working for us, and it only takes one wrong answer to prove a theory wrong. Are you ready to reap the whirlwind? We're gonna unwind 100, 300 years of physics in one minute. Newton's gravity. If you put an accelerometer on Newton and an accelerometer on the apple, it's a Newton that's accelerating, not the apple. The apple is innocent. Go see video 20 if you want to see that in more detail. Newton's third law, it's impossible. The only way it can be true if, is if nothing in the universe were in motion. Uh, so see video 14, there's a logical alternative. Faraday's law, it's a model, ironically, is a model of inductance. What's inductance? A coil of wire. But you can't compute inductance from it. Go see video number three or see my graduate thesis. The link for the, my graduate thesis is in video number three. Maxwell's displacement current, a fraud upon frauds. If you calculate it for a closed loop inductor, you get 2J, which is over unity. See video number two. Maxwell's model for light, based on both the Faraday's law and his displacement current. He's got the two energy components, the electric and magnetic field, are in phase. And you say, well, what's the big problem with this? Well, that means if you, add, if you look at the energy over time, where the electric field and the magnetic field go to zero, the energy of the, of the goes to zero. You say, well, what's the big deal with that? Well, that means your photon, as it's traveling from left to light, goes from energy to zero to energy to zero. So you've got a photon that blinks. And where does the energy go when the photon passes this point? I mean, where, where is the conservation of energy? This is ridiculous. Try building a radar with photons that blink. Okay, maybe Maxwell got his photons where Jack got his beanstalk beans. I don't know. You say, well, how can we get the right answers? My friend, this is not the right answer, the model that we use. This is the model we use. E to the J omega. This is what engineers use in radar and radio. And this has the energy components 90 degrees out of phase. And if you look at the energy, the photon does not blink as it travels. It's got constant energy. This is the model engineers use. Not this model. This is a fraud. And the beautiful thing about E to the J omega, it's used for sound waves, water waves, string waves, radio waves, and tin can telephone waves. But here's where the rub is. The rub is that this wave model is a wave model for a medium. So what's the medium for light? And some of you are saying, well, didn't the, they theorize about an ether a long time ago? And didn't they disprove the ether? My friends, my friends, if physicists can't get the model for light correct, how, pray tell, could they get the model for the ether correct? I'm going to show you a model for the ether that satisfies all the previous critiques. Okay, we are so bad at physics on this planet that I'm sure the aliens are watching us and we are on the top rated show for the most stupid species. Okay, we've had a hundred years we've known about E equals MC squared, but we're still murdering each other over oil. That's ridiculous. Okay, now if we look at our dots, these are our observations, things we have to prove. And let's look at Einstein's relativity. He talks about inertia, gravity. We can't talk about light because we've had the wrong model. Electromagnetic physics, we've had the wrong model. And in video number 21, I show you an aspect of matter that we have completely missed. It's been under our nose since forever. Okay, and so relativity hits these spots and maybe it hits a little bit of energy, but it doesn't have a, a, a thesis for matter. It does not work well with electromagnetism, not the correct models. It does not work with the, it does not predict a model for light and it does not predict this other aspect of nature. Okay, we can do the same thing with quantum mechanics, but quantum mechanics is even worse. 
uh, and it still doesn't hit this and it doesn't hit this. So what I'm going to propose is a new ethereal mechanics which is a corrected model of electromagnetism, a new wave model which predicts a new model of light, a new model for the ether, okay, which is a new thing that we're going to be observing here because the other ones didn't have a dot for the ether, and everything here from gravity, inertia, it shows that gravity, inertia is electromagnetic induction, matter can be predicted, everything can be predicted from electromagnetism with an ether model. This, by the way, is my logo, which is in a logo of Mother Nature. Um, so, go to video number 21. That's a great video. We already talked about all of this stuff. Okay, and this comes out to be so simple that even physicists can do it. Okay, the reason why I'm a little bit angry is because when I was a kid in the 70s, we had great pictures like this from Robert McCall. And we had Star Wars, we had Star Trek, the computers were just coming out. It looked like we were going to be in space long before 2001. And what do we got today, folks? We got internet porn. Big freaking deal. So, uh, this is Maxwell with the Kung Fu right hand rule grip. Please donate. Please give me thumbs up on the videos or, you know, uh, whatever you call them. Donate if you can and uh, definitely subscribe because if you subscribe you'll get the new videos when they come out. Thank you very much.